So how do you measure a shot? A shot's 30 ml. We're done here. Thanks. Just kidding. I've got three minutes of your time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Just for three minutes. Hello, I'm Derek Schomer from AwesomeDrinks.com, owner, and I'm also the host of Common Man Cocktails, the channel this video resides on. You can see more of our series at AwesomeDrinks.com slash three, or one of the playlists that'll probably pop up later. So a standard shot can be measured in a glass by its own name. However, you're gonna find that shot glasses are different sizes depending on where you are. I have some UK shot glasses floating around. I don't know where they are, but they're like really small. They're probably 25 ml or 30 ml, which is, uh, well, just as a standard measure, 30 ml is one ounce. So it's less than an ounce. A standard shot here in the United States is 1.5 ounces. That being said, the standardization is really just, it's just a code of honor. There is no real government standard. It's just that's the way we tend to pour things is 1.5 ounce shot. Although I think Utah for some reason has standardized on 1.5, but you're gonna find that it ranges from 30 ml, which is a one ounce shot, 1.5 ounce shot, or even a two ounce shot. And that makes things confusing. So if you're making drinks based on shot glasses and not jiggers, you might have a two ounce. You might have a 1.5 ounce. You might have a 30 ml, which I believe is something is you get a, a, a main tourist attraction, or you get one for free when you buy a bottle of vodka that you shouldn't have owned. This could be super confusing if you're using a recipe to design your drink. But if you're using ratios, like a two on one ratio to make a daiquiri, and you're like, wow, how long has that been sitting there? That's a separate video. We made that, you can go watch it. A two on one makes it easy because it doesn't matter what size it is, it's a ratio. You do two of these for your rum, one of these for your lime, and one of these for your sugar. In general, shots vary depending on where you are. So if you go to another country and you order a shot of whiskey, things might get interesting. If you're in Denmark, that's a 40 ml shot, but in France it's 35 ml, which is a little bit more than an ounce. In India, it's 30 ml, which is exactly an ounce. UK? 25 to 30 ml. So you're either getting a little less or a little more. My personal opinion is you should stick with some jiggers. And here's why. When you start working on a three quarter ounce measures, even if I know, and I believe I know, that this is a two ounce shot glass, pouring three out, pouring three quarters of an ounce is gonna be challenging. Uh, even pouring an ounce over two is gonna be challenging. Why? Because the glass is not cylindrical. So that means you're gonna have more to get to an ounce but less to get to the two ounces. So unless you're dealing in volume and mathematics and trying to figure out all that logic or jarring marker spots on here, it's probably just easier to use one of these. Down in the corner, home bartender starter kit at awesomedrinks.com. You can check out awesomedrinks.com slash three for more videos like this. And that's it, folks. We're teaching you how to drink.